How is this different from other anti-androgens or androgen receptor blockers or DHT blockers? So spironolactone is a blood pressure medication. It's a diuretic. It has wide uses within medicine. But what spironolactone does is it comes along and it binds to the androgen receptor. And then because it is blocking that receptor, it means that DHT can't bind to that receptor as well. So therefore, it, it antagonizes uh, the effect of DHT at the receptor. What about bicludamide? Well, bicludamide has a similar effect. So this is originally a prostate drug. And what happens is it binds to the androgen receptor. And again, that means that DHT can't then come in and bind into the DHT receptor. What about pyrolutamide? So pyrolutamide, obviously still in its research phases, not completely approved yet for use. This is a selective androgen receptor modulator. And what it does is it binds to the androgen receptor and it stops then DHT binding to that receptor. But how GT20029 is different is it degrades that receptor altogether. So you can have high DHT levels circulating throughout the blood and it has no effect on that follicle.